Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. Today's one is going to be a foundation review, another one, and it's a drugstore foundation. I don't know why I get most excited for drugstore foundations, always. So today's foundation is one that's recently, recently come out. It's the Sleek Life Proof Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. Just like a thin kind of tube. And I have the shade LP11. Like one thing that I do really want to mention first of all is that when I got this, there was plastic wrapping just around the lid and there was um, a film. You know when you get new tubes, you get like a film on the top. So that means, you know, no one has tried it or touched it. I really appreciate that because you don't know how many times I've bought stuff and I've realised someone has used it in a drugstore because our stuff in the UK are not individually wrapped and I'm kind of happy for that but I don't mind like a little kind of plastic thing around to let me know that it hasn't been touched and they have it instead of like having the whole thing wrapped up in plastic they've just done it around the, the lid opening you don't really need it but I'm just sick of tired and using like buying stuff that have been used already in store so I really appreciate that. Now anyways, um, the foundation says that it's medium to full coverage, it's sweat proof and oil free. So on the back of the foundation it says, life proof your look with this foundation that goes the distance. Soft focus powders create a blurring effect and help to reduce the appearance of fine lines. The oil free formula help, can help the skin look even and shine free whilst imperfections are concealed. I'm guessing it's just gonna make my skin look soft and even that's what I'm getting from this description but the thing is I don't know how I feel about the oil free I mean I have used oil free foundations in the past but my skin's feeling really dry right now so I'm just gonna go on to moisturizing my skin quickly I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown moisturizer with SPF 25 okay so my skin is moisturized and I'm gonna go straight in with the foundation I don't think I'm gonna color correct but anyways, let's talk about the colour. So I bought this online, basically. I bought it on the Boots website. On the Super Drug website, they didn't really have, like, all the colours. There was, like, five colours. And when I went on the Boots one, literally all the colours were there. And they have a ton and a ton of shades in this foundation. I bought this foundation for $8.99. And you have 24 shades in this foundation. So it deserves a good clap. Because finally, a drugstore foundation like has 24 colors in a foundation 24 oh my god so yeah they did really 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 well on color shades on each end in the middle left and right they have colors for everyone and i'm really happy about that this foundation is very affordable and i have the shade lp11 i was initially going to go for lp12 but i looked up swatches on google images like i always do and then i saw that i wanted to get LP11 because LP12 was a bit deeper for me. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys. One thing I've realised, I did open it and the product does come out. Just a lot of pressure in the foundation. Like I'm not even squeezing and it's still coming out. That's a super messy swatch but I want to like show you what it looks like. But I think that's a good colour for me. It feels very like creamy thick. Definitely more on the thicker side. I'm gonna grab a really dense brush. Someone's decided to burst out loud music outside. That looks stunning. I'm so happy with the colour. I'm so happy I didn't go for LP12. I really want to see how this is with a beauty blender, so I'm going to do the other side with it. The foundation doesn't really have a scent, which I kind of prefer at the moment. Let me just go wet my beauty blender. Can you see, like, it definitely oxidizes because the bit I put earlier on is gone a bit darker than what I just put on, so it does oxidize a bit, which I don't mind because I feel like it will adapt to my skin tone. Okay, I feel like I'm definitely getting more coverage with a vendor. 
God, these drugstore brands are really upping their game. That Maybelline Superstay 24 hour one. Oh my God, I love that foundation. I've been wearing it a lot. And like this one seems to be really good, like full coverage, but not cakey. I don't know, I definitely prefer Beat Vendor with this foundation. It hasn't even gone ashy anywhere on my mouth area, which is a huge thumbs up. Um, and so far it's definitely like medium full coverage. You can definitely get a medium with one layer and you can totally build up with it as well and do second layer. The color is perfect. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't have a scent. Um, it doesn't go patchy. I definitely prefer it with a sponge. This is like my initial first impression on the foundation as I'm applying it and I just really really like how it makes my skin look flawless but so far so good I'm really happy with it I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back right so I've done the rest of my makeup I filmed a little Instagram tutorial at the same time um, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already everything went on perfectly guys I just really like this foundation it's for coverage I mean my, there's no smile lines yet no separation yet I mean it's still the beginning but we shall see how this look by the end of the day I mean I've already told you what I've liked about it so far so yeah we'll see what it looks like later on oh and I forgot to tell you the time it's 15 it's 15 33 so I'll probably wear it to like 9 or 10 o'clock hopefully anyways we'll see how it is hey guys so I'm back it's now 8 22 p.m. I've had this for like five hours almost six so it's faded on my nose and as you can see oh my god please my mustache i haven't taken my hair off anyways i've got some separation here and some smile line but it's not that bad compared to like other foundations i mean i haven't touched it all day so i think it's pretty good for five hours normally i've had much worse where it goes all the way up there it's just here for now so I'm guessing this foundation would give me smile lines if I kept it on for longer. But it has faded up here, but everywhere else, oh my god, my hair's so hairy, my face is so hairy. But anyways, everywhere else, it's completely fine. Um, I think it looks flawless. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this foundation. I mean, it did really, really well. I definitely give them a huge, huge, huge thumbs up for the shades, the shade range. I'm so, so happy. Like, you guys don't even know. We needed some improvement in shade range in our drugstore in the UK. But, yeah, I'm just so happy they have much more deeper colours and, do you know, just like more uh, tones in deeper shades. So, I think that's amazing. I'm really happy about that. Just that alone, I think, is cool. It's full coverage. It's affordable. It stays on, it doesn't go patchy, it applies like a dream. It's not overly matte, I feel like it's a natural matte. I did put quite a hydrating moisturiser underneath, that's probably that's why I got a glow and I did spray some setting spray. But other than that, it do, I would say when I put it on my hand, it does dry matte. Would I still wear this foundation? Definitely yes. So I'm going to give this foundation a big 9 out of 10. Um, there is a slight separation after 5 hours, I feel like it could have done better, but still 9 out of 10, still good. I still will wear this foundation, I'll probably try some baking around here next time, um, and maybe some like colour corrector. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say guys, I'm super happy with this foundation, big thumbs up for me. If you guys have any questions about the foundation, do let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them all. Thank you so much for watching this video and definitely let me know as well what other foundations you want to see. I really enjoyed it. I actually am so happy that I have this one and I will support it because it's a great brand and they have amazing products. But anyways, I'm going to go now because I look like a right mess. I need to go in a shower and my battery's running out. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time.